Uh, quite a stat line from Isaiah tonight. Is there anything new you can say about what he means to this team? I'm glad the crowd recognized it. What he did in the first half with his his hustle and his heart, um, that's as good as it gets. That was my halftime talk. I said, that's what it is about. I said, that's a hunger and a drive that I said, Zay, I said, Let, let's all just hook our wagons to him and, and play with that kind of desire and that kind of um, just lay it on the line. I mean, we, you know, that Hampton has their, their guards are tough. They made some contested shots early. I, they added the, the two new guys. Um, and so I, I knew they're capable. Morrow's a heck of a player and can score. And when they made those, it was kind of a back and forth game. And I think those hustle plays that Isaiah made um, and keeping balls alive on the glass, real good. So that was a good Christmas gift for me. It seemed like things kind of turned around with that four-point play, and of course that, he was involved with that. He was, he got fouled, and then uh, I guess it was a flagrant. Yes, right. But what, what were you thinking? It was 23, 20, 24, yeah. 23 late in the first half, and no, I watched them play. Um, they beat App State by 33, I think. Um, I saw them battle some teams for halves, and then with the addition of the young man who was the national JUCO player of the year as a freshman, he played a lot of minutes at TCU in the Big 12. Uh, I want to make sure I get his name right. Number one. Um, yeah, he gives them some athleticism, um, and then Zero has come up. You know, he's a good defender, um, and they made some of those shots. I, I knew. I, I told, the, I said to our guys, you're going to have to play against these guys. Their perimeters are good. Their ball screen, uh, they're going to ball screen you to death. And there's not a lot of life. A lot of people, all right, we're good, and uh, we're going on vacation. And I said, not so with you guys and this team because they're a capable team, and I think they'll they'll get better as they get their chemistry with those new guys. Yeah, we had five team rebounds. I still, what's a team rebound? I always wonder that stat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dead ball, no, no. Thank you. <laughs> um, but it's, um, yeah, it's, it, it, that's a big part of our, our defense is getting back and playing against the set defense for us and then trying to limit them to the one shot. And it's, it's got to be a group thing. And I think that's, you know, Hampton, some of the teams, the size on the interior isn't quite the same as what we'll see. So the, the ability to block out with position. And, um, and then go get it. And a lot of times the guards have to come back and rebound. And Dev didn't have as good of an offensive stat line, but I thought he, his size and his, his work on uh, Morrow made a difference as the game wore on. So, um, but we're going to need, again, that and Isaiah's offensive rebounding was significant. I think we saw like in the West Virginia game when Kyle got off to a little bit of a slow start. I mean, what does it kind of take for him to, to find it? And when he does, you know, how good can he be, I guess? Just a shot opportunity, <laughs> shot attempt. You know, I said that. Finding those opportunities early on, you think? Or? What's that? Do you think he wasn't finding the opportunities tonight early on? I think he almost shattered the backboard on his first shot. So he had a good one. He shot it and hit the glass first. I am. Um, Kyle is unique because as talented as a shooter is, I've never seen a guy like either shoot an air ball or miss a shot. And then all it takes is one shot, West Virginia and here. And he, we want him to hunt the shot, be aggressive, of course, take good shots. But uh, I like he got going off a couple out of bounds plays in the second half. And rare to see a guy maybe miss a few bad ones. And he's one shot away from getting on a streak with such a quick release. And so, um, you know, he's, he's going to keep looking. We got a screen for him, get him open, and keep making the right plays. I thought Isaiah and Ty really were key in the early part of the game to keep us in there as they were making four tough shots. And we got some good wide open looks and missed them. But I thought Ty has had two really good games in a row. And, um, and Isaiah, I thought they just, they, they just kept us in there. And I actually like DeAndre. He gave us a nice lift uh, with an offensive rebound put back and then the transition bucket at the end of the half. Um, so. Those things are all important in that game. And I thought, again, we defended and played pretty well in the first half. They just hit some tough shots. But Ty was, was real sharp and real good. Um, again, assist to turnovers were solid as well. Brad, speaking of Drake, Coach, you, you obviously uh, have had some high hopes for him. You mentioned before flashes here, flashes there. How, how good was it to see him have a kind of a consistent game on both ends? You put him on the trend kit for a while. Right. Uh, what was yeah, I thought they were real quick. They went with their four guard lineup, so we wanted to take a look. And Jack was nursing a, uh, when he fell in the last game, nursing a sore back. So 
I thought here's a chance to, to see our four guard lineup, which a lot of teams do, and we can switch ball screens or do some different things. So I wanted to see DeAndre in that setting, and I thought he did a, did a good job. You know, nice, made those plays, and nice to see him in the second half. You know, hit a shot, um, and you know, he got going in transition. So I thought that was a, a good outing for him. And, and again, we need that. You know, when Devin wasn't scoring like he was, uh, to see some of those other guys step up. Those are important for us as the season moves forward with Ty. Um, you know, those third, fourth scores and getting action that way. Yeah, you know, I um, we've played well. We've, we've done what we've needed to do. We got a tight game against uh, West Virginia and didn't didn't finish it the right way, but um, there'll probably be enough of those in ACC play. So, um, you know, sometimes a couple guys were hurt when we played them. Um, some teams maybe on paper were strong and weren't are struggling a little bit right now, but I'm happy with what we did. And I know the tests will come, and that's why in practice we're trying to work on situations, you know, close situations, two minutes left, up four, down four, different kinds of things you're doing. and. Um, Playing the same, playing the possession, that's what we preach all the time. But of course, the competition will continue to step up in a league like the ACC. Um, you mentioned Jack, was, was, he, was he just hurt a little bit today? And, and do you think he'll be all right for? Uh... He won the last game, I said. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Fell, so yeah. he was sore with his back. So I just, he did a good job. Actually, Jack started, got us off to a good start. Um, and he, um, and I just thought if there's not a, a need to, aggravate that or bother it. So this will be good. He's got a couple of days off or a few days off here for Christmas break. And we'll need the physicality um, come conference. We saw in the NCAAs last year how much not having Isaiah around yeah. hurt the team. Do you ever cringe when he starts throwing his body around? And you know, there he like comes over and the, Ethan's wiping the blood <laughs> off his arm. And Isaiah only knows one way. Now, I thought he showed some good discernment when you know I could see it I could almost read that that ball was going out of bounds and I'm like is he going to launch himself and try to jump over and save that ball was that in the second half it was right across their bench and he kind of he sort of it was sort of a half dive half not so I thought that was about as controlled as Isaiah will get he just dove into the first row instead of going for four rows deep to get the ball because he couldn't get it but he's um he knows one way as I said and he embodies for us our pillar of passion uh, he is not lukewarm and about anything in terms of how he leads, how he plays, how he serves. And uh, he's, it's been a joy to coach. And I love how contagious that is for our players.